as we thought about and talked through, you know, the extension of our service, what else do our clients need from us? How else can we serve? Title insurance is a big part of it. You know, we're largely an acquisition and title based company. That's, that's the services we provide. And one thing that's unique in the alternative space and particularly with some of the large utility scale projects that we see, you know, the big solar fields, uh, some of the battery storage sites, uh, the wind projects, they all get a title policy. And that's something that's pretty unique uh, to the space, to the energy space. We're all familiar with title policies in our homes. You know, you get a refinance, you got to get title policy. You buy a house, you got to have a title policy. Well, the same thing happens on energy projects. You're going to cover 500 acres with solar panels. You need an energy uh, title policy. And with that comes some complexities, um, you know, particularly in Texas. Um, it's not as simple as getting a policy on a neighborhood lot. Um, you're talking about condemning uh, future development from the, for the mineral estate, which is a dominant estate in Texas. You're talking about some of the incentives that are out there from the federal government, um, you know, Inflation Reduction Act, all those things put emphasis on brownfield uh, development, which for those who aren't familiar with it, brownfield means go where they're producing oil, <laughs> right? And try to build a solar, solar facility. So um, with that comes those complexities. And so we saw a real disconnect in, in the way that the workflow went. We saw a lot of delay, a lot of mistakes being made that could have been avoided uh, because of the segmented kind of siloed nature of how title companies work and versus how developers need to develop their project and frankly just their their know-how or understanding of what's out there what what problems could be out there and so we set out to try to find a solution um, with that using our connections and the folks that we had conversations with our friends at select title and they're a commercial uh, independent title agent in the state of texas they do a lot of policies for big apartment developments um, you know, commercial scale, large developments, uh, that was their focus. As it turns out, one of their primaries there was a, a landman that I worked with years and years ago and we had good trusting rapport and relationship. Um, and, uh, so kind of that was the early stage of those discussions and that's how select title was formed, or Dudley select title was formed. Um, really, you know, we're just trying to create a more seamless process, a more efficient process for our clients less segmented, more linear, more in line, more, you know, forward thinking about if hey, we're going to need to consider these things for, you know, our title insurance needs. Let's think about it now. What can we do now? And with that process being, you know, fully within Dudley land, the communication is better. We can think more proactively for our clients. And uh, that's really how this concept was born. And we're really excited about it. Yeah, you know, uh, and you mentioned I've been, um, you know, working with Select Title, uh, this independent agency now for the last three years, a little over three years now. And really from day one when I came in, you know, I didn't know a ton about title insurance. You know, I'd, I'd closed a couple of, you know, houses and went in and signed all the papers and stuff like that. <laughs> and I'm just like, OK, this is part of the process, I guess. But you know, I did know uh, and quickly understood that, you know, they're identified, you know, the resources that folks like Dudley deploy um, out into a very broad marketplace all, all across the U.S. are not dissimilar from the resources that we utilize in the, in the top insurance world. Now, the big difference out there well, and let me say this, I mean, you know, in thinking about it in those terms, I thought, you know, that there would be some synergies there, right? Like my network was oil and gas, commercial space, I'd done private equity, I'd worked for super majors, you know, so I had a pretty good network uh, uh, across that space. And I was always looking for some way to bridge that gap, right? Like, what are the opportunities out there to draw resources from, from teams like Brent or commercial resources, you know, in terms of new driving new business uh, in the door for us. And really with, you know, the, the passage of the Inflation Reduction Act, it was, the you know, the light went on. We were thinking about it and then I was like, wow, this is really happening. 
these projects are anchored. They're going to be funded, you know, for the next eight years or, or whatever. Um, and so we got started thinking real hard about how to action that. Now it is a big, uh, the, the work is, is in a lot of ways the same, but the big difference is the regulatory environment that we have to operate in as, as an insurance provider. Um, and we, we can dive into uh, some of those particulars, but yeah, I mean, this was like, you know, the, the kind of golden light out there, all of these things aligned to saying, well, actually, you know, my network of folks, my former service providers are out there working these renewable projects. Um, you know, teams like Dudley and the sophisticated brokerages that are, that are out there are always and should always be, you know, looking for ways to optimize their value chain and integrate that value chain you know, for the benefit of their customers. And that's what I'm the same, you know, I went from upstream to midstream. I was always looking for that, you know, golden thread that, that connected all of the pieces uh, of the puzzle. And this is one of them. And the it, title insurance in the renewables game is a very important piece of the puzzle. Um, and that's why I was so excited to be in position to, you know, to, mature this opportunity with these guys who, again, I mean, I was trying to think about it. I, I don't know. We've probably known each other 15, 17 years. It's a long time. It's like a long time. We've been in the same, you know, space navigating around each other. Um, and for me, I mean, I wouldn't, I certainly wouldn't get into this venture um, with a group that didn't have the, you know, reputation, credibility, um, you know, the, the ability and, and, and thought process to, you know, really put the customer first. I mean, our motto at Select is people first. And that's how we got into this venture is with the people, Brent, Steve, and Brent, you know, the, the partners over there, like that's what made us, you know, and keeps us super excited about what we're doing here. And that goes, you know, to, to Natalie and all the way through the rest of the team, you know, that we've been working on, you know, building our model out with like, it's super great to have, you know, a group that we can day in, day out, be confident in, in partnering with and focus back on delivering on behalf of our customers.